Hey, Jeremy here. I hope you've had a good Christmas. Today, I want to be showing you how to create a 2017 goal checklist. It's just a simple checklist with some nice, simple type and shapes. So you can have your goals, you know, stick it on your wall and have it ready for 2017. So you can start the year prepared and ready to take it on. So what we're going to do first is when you just go to file and go to new, create a new document. And I'm just using a normal A4. If you go to print, if you're on CC, you get these options here. You can just, you know, do a normal letter or A4 size, which I've pressed. So you can click that and you can just use points. And we're going for a portrait um, size canvas. Um, you can add some bleed as well. Um, but for now, we're just going to leave it at that and leave it on CMYK. So just create one of those. And I'm just going to use this. So I'm just going to copy this artboard. You can actually go to the left hand side. You can see this little artboard tool as well. If you click that, you can actually copy the artboard across. Or you can actually draw artboards like that. But your artboard will appear. So I'm just using this for now. And what we're going to do first, we're just going to start off by using some colors. So you can see I've got some colors in my swatches panel on the side here. You go to window and go to swatches to open those. But I'll just have them on the side here. Just so you guys can see. And these are my three main colors that I'm using. It's a pinky tone and a brown, light brown and just a cream color. So I usually start off, go to my layers. I'm going to add a new layer, just call it BG for background. And press M to get the square tool up. And we're just going to use this. Press I for the eyedropper tool and you're going to select your colors just like that. Um, this cream color is a bit too harsh, so I'm just going to select the lighter color. But you can see how it's got like a nice cream color, which is better than having just white. So we've got that. And then we're going to press M again and create the box for the header part like that. And then select this darker yellow color. So we've got this and now we can create a new layer and then call it design. Uh, and then we can actually just lock that background layer as well. So what we're going to do is just by using squares, we can easily create some nice boxes and just select the colors you like. And the quickest way to actually center this is actually when you select the shape, you get up align options at the top here, or you could go to your align panel as well. So go window align and you can actually align to the center just like that if you want. So we know this is aligned. And then I'm going to use my strokes. So I'm going to select our shape and I'm going to press shift X to switch that out. So now you can see we have a stroke. So I'm bumping that up and then I'm going to go click dash line. And then I, I like to keep my points round. So you can select the cap and the corner and just select the middle options. That will actually round off all the strokes really nicely, which is pretty sweet. And then we're going to switch the option. So it goes to the corners like that, as you can see there. Makes a big difference. So we're going to use that, uh, drop the stroke down to six. Maybe you want the dash to be 10. And you can play around with these options to get different looks, but I kind of like this. And then I'm going to go, you can see my fill here. I'm just going to make it white, just like that. So now we're starting to get some, you know, shape going on there and having it pretty cool. So we're just going to press T for the type tool. And then I'm going to click and then start typing 2017 goal checklist. And then I'm um, hold control shift and write greater than or if you um, press less than or full stop and comma, it'll go up really fast. And then I'm going to align this, select these two together and then left click, let go and then left click on the middle. And then you can actually align these things just like that. So now the tech type is aligned to the box and then I'm um, just pick a font. <laughs> Um, I'll try and choose a free font. Um, you can even go Bebis. That's pr that's a pretty nice font. But I'm just going to use uh, BW Mod Mod Modelicia for now. I'm going to bump this up to bold, extra bold like this, which is pretty awesome. And then what I do is select the colors. You just press T, and you can actually select the type, and just start selecting different colors. Select the pink. I can have it like that. That's actually looking pretty nice. I can actually get the P 
pick the orange there. Okay, sweet. That's looking pretty cool. Oh, she put it to brown. So we've got our header there, and to get this um, pattern here, you can see that you can grab these patterns from my Turbo Badge Builder kit on Creative Market. Um, check it out. It's got like 30 patterns, but I've just picked one of these ones, which I'll select here, and you can see it's got like a nice dotted pattern, which is pretty cool. And what I did, I just pressed M and made a box or a square, and then I'm just going to bring this to the back. So you can press Control Shift and then um, left square bracket. And then I'm just changing the blending mode, transparency. You can go to window and go to transparency to get that. And then I'm just going to scroll through to I find one I like. Color dodge is pretty good. And then I'm going to bump down the opacity to about 70%, maybe 60%, just so it's just light there. Sweet. So now we start, we've got our main header. And then now we're going to work on the boxes um, for the bottom area. So press T for the type tool, get that up, zero one dot, and change the color to brown. And then I'm gonna make this a little bit less bold. You can also hold the edge and hold shift and you can scale it up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select, click it, hold alt or, or option if you're on a Mac and hold shift and drag it down. And then what you can do is press Command D or Control D, and it's just going to copy that, just like that. And then we can go in here and change the numbers. So we've got our numbers like that. And then we're going to create a box. So press M for the rectangle tool. You can see there. And you just click and drag. Just like that. So for our box, we're going to be using this pink color. And then Shift X to switch to a stroke. And we're going to bump that up a little bit. So I'm going to make sure this is aligned. So select both objects and then click the one that you want the other object to align to. So I want this to align to the type and then click that. So now the box is directly centered with that, which is pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do, hold option or alt, copy that across. And you can see how it's all aligned up. That's because um, Smart Guides is turned on. So Smart Guides is control U, you can select that, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna select the box now and just drag this out and make sure that you bump down the stroke again. You can just press I for the eyedropper tool. And then when you select this, it's actually gonna copy it just like that. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to make this background white so it's more readable like this. And then select them both. I'm going to just drag this out, holding Alt, just to make it a bit bigger. Let's drag this out. So you can see how it's all even and it's all together. There's nothing hanging out. And then what we can do to create the tick, you can just press P for the pen tool. And what I just do, I just click. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then copy that. And then I'm going to round this off, actually. Make that a bit bigger. And I'm just using the direct selection tool. Up the top left there, you can see it's the white one. And just adjusting this to make it more nice. And then I'm just going to bump it in there. And maybe change the color to the brown. Obviously, you don't have to add ticks until it's 2017, then you can start adding stuff. And then what you can do, you can actually just drag, grab all this, hold auto option, and then again, you can see the smart guides, it's clicking in, and then press Control D or Command D, and it's going to copy all those boxes downwards. <laughs> so we've got our boxes here now. I'm just going to get rid of... Take those ticks. And I'll just change those colors. And I'm going to press T for the type tool again and change the color on the fill. And then make sure it's centered. And then type 
maybe one of your goals is to, you know, launch launch a designer portfolio site. Maybe some of you don't have portfolio site, maybe you needed some projects. And I'm gonna bump this up to to a bold. And then what you can do to change it, if you want all caps or all titles, you can go select the type, go type in the top left corner. And what you can do, go to change case and we can actually go uppercase and it changes it for you or you can go change case, title case. And it just changes it and makes it all caps, all the first words. So I've got that, I might make it a little bit smaller. And then bump it out a little bit. And sweet, so we've got our first goal there. And what you can do, you can actually just copy it down again like we did before. And press Control D and then type in new goals. So read three new design books. Um, do one collaboration. Whatever your goals are, you can put whatever, anything you want and you, know, you can go forth and fill out all the boxes and then when you can print it out and then just stick it on your wall and you can just tick it when you've accomplished ones you want. And yeah, so that's pretty much how you make a 2017 goal checklist. Thanks for watching this short tutorial. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content every week.